Welcome to WebWiz. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the cool text graphics generator to create a quick and easy logo for your website. If you go to cooltext.com, you will uh, be brought to this page. Here we can choose a logo style or logo theme. There are several different uh, themes to choose from. However, I'm going to show you how to use Wizards since it has the most uh, available features. If you click on the Wizards picture down here, you will be brought to this page. Here we can see a preview of this Wizards design. It looks kind of like a Harry Potterish theme. However, we can quickly change that. Let's say you have a science-based website. We can change the text to say something like science. Then click away to re-preview. But this still looks like a Harry Potterish theme, so let's change the font from Harry Potter to something else by clicking on it. We can then see that there are several different font categories to choose from. Let's choose science fiction. Here are all of the different science fiction based themes. Let's choose something like Battlestar. This theme is obviously from the Battlestar Galactica television series, the new one. And you can see how that is by the outline of the letters. If you were to fill that in with red, you would see the Battlestar Galactica theme. Anyways, that's not important because you're not advertising Battlestar Galactica, you're advertising your website. So let's continue to improve this logo by changing the background image by clicking on it. Now we can make the background transparent. Uh, that would make it so that it's, instead of just being a picture, it's just text. And you can use that. Or you can scroll down and choose one of the... Uh, themes that they have, such as stars, which would continue in the science fiction, science-based theme that we're using for your, your website, science fiction or science website. You now choose a, um, this actually looks pretty good, but you can change the text size to make it larger or smaller. Um, this is a pretty good size for your website. I'm just going to show you how decreasing the size works. Let's decrease to 50. You can see it gets smaller. Increase back up to 70, that's a good size. There. You can also change uh, other features such as the text overlay gradient by clicking on it again. Here are all the different gradients you can choose from. Let's choose golden. That looks really nice for a science fiction or science based website. However, there's uh, one more thing that we can do here and that's change the file format by clicking on this drop down menu we can make a GIF a PNG a P, um, JPEG a PNG with transparency or a PSD a PSD is a Photoshop file now if you save your image as a PSD it will be very easy to edit in Photoshop you click on that you'll be able to save it by clicking render logo and then you can download the image, edit the logo, or email the image. You can just click on one of these options. Let's click download the image. You can see, by the way, that's saving as a PSD. Now, if we open up this picture, wait, you can see that uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements is opening on my computer. because it's a uh, Photoshop Elements file, it should open in Photoshop Elements. If, when you open up this picture, it doesn't open up in Elements, you should be able to uh, right-click and then click on Open with Adobe Photoshop Elements. Here's the Photoshop Elements page. And here's your picture. Now what you can see is that since you save this as a Photoshop Elements picture, the picture is in several different layers. For instance, we can see in the Layers palette that there's a background layer, and that's the stars. You can move that around separately from the text. You can also see that the text gradient is split up. So you can see that you can take off the gold and the different um, gradients. And also, if you want, you can add an object and place it behind certain layers in front of other layers. So since the stars is in the back of the text, you could put an image, say, in front of the stars and behind the text. 
So you can just see how um, cool text, if you just want to use cool text, um, it comes out with great logos. However, you can also edit it later on in Photoshop Elements with great results. So that is how to create quick and easy logos with the cool text graphics generator on cooltext.com. Thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial.